I know that you don't have time right now. You are just chilling, enjoying the sun, going to the sea. So here it is, only five yoga positions to improve your middle splits that you can do anytime, anywhere. First one, as you can guess, wide-legged forward fold. Open your legs wide, but your toes are pointing forward. Grip through the toes, feel the bottom, the arch of the feet are lifting up, glutes are engaged here, and then let your upper body fold forward. You can place your fingertips on the mat or maybe on your shins or maybe even you can use something underneath your palms here. Feel the weight of your upper body towards the ground. Don't forget that activation on your feet, the sucking movement also the glutes the hips are in line realistically with the ankles here don't slide your hips back this is what we might tend to do since it's decreasing the sensation but we want that sensation so focus on that and most importantly, don't forget to breathe in and out deeply. When it comes to stretching, breathing is essential. yogic squat this is also for your muscles to get that strength we want to have for this you can rotate your toes slightly pointing externally it's like you have a big V shape in front of you and from here again the feet are sucking the mat, grip through the toes, glutes are engaged. And from here, bend your knees and lower your back towards the ground. Your tailbone is pointing towards the ground here. Again, it's like a movement when you are doing that, like you are closing your zip you know you are closing your pants, do that movement here. You're going to feel that opening sensation in your inner thighs, your butt as well, but also this is strengthening movement for our legs, for our lower body. Hold it here. And then when you find your balance, add movement. Inhale, lift, exhale, lower. 
Inhale, lift, exhale, lower. Inhale, lift, exhale, lower. Always the awareness is on our butt, on our legs. Exhale, lower. You can do the squats as many as you want. I suggest you to start with 10 and then with time you can increase the amount. This is a yogic squat. goddess pose which we just keep here seated and trying to lower the butt as possible as we can without losing all those activations gripping through the toes you're going to feel your quadriceps perfect this is what we want engaging the glutes tailbone pointing towards the ground navel slightly in you can unite your hands in front of your chest you can place your palms on your thighs you can extend your arms whatever you want on that day hold it here challenge yourself by lowering the butt a little bit more a little bit more and just breathe in and out deeply and hold it here at least 45 seconds be malasana let's do the transition toe heel toe heel until the feet are still wider than the hips but not that wide again toes pointing slightly to the sides yeah <laughs> inhale here with exhalation lower your butt you can adjust your feet and sit into your malasana here again 
the tailbone is pointing towards the ground. Always imagine that movement you are doing while, while you are closing your pants and just sit. Try to find the length on your spine through the top of your head. You are reaching towards the sky with the top of your head, but also the tailbone is reaching towards the ground. Imagine that opposite movements, the opposite directions, and you can add a little push with your elbows towards your knees, your inner thighs. Toes are still gripping the mat and hold it here. You can unite your hands in front of you. You can open your arms, extend your arms, but just breathe in and out deeply. Let your body open up. Hold it here at least 45 seconds. to be seated wide-legged forward fold. Extend your legs to the sides and place your butt on your mat here. Again, long upper body is a key. We don't want to curve our spine and lose this length. And for that, you can pull your butt cheeks, pull them and feel your sitting bones. Perfect. Place them on your mat. This is going to help you to sit straight with your upper body. And from here, place your fingertips on the ground. Inhale. With exhalation, walk with your fingertips forward. Inhale, reach, exhale, walk. Inhale, reach, exhale, fold and walk. <laughs> Always imagine that your upper body is reaching towards the sky. The goal is not going with our head to the ground and curving the spine, but the goal is to make this gap close. Hold it here again at least 45 seconds.
If you enjoy this type of content, please let me know in the comment section below so I can keep creating. Also, you can give me suggestions or if you have a particular position on your mind that you want me to film about, let me know in the comment section below. Give it a thumbs up, it supports my channel a lot and of course subscribe so we can keep practicing and learning and enjoying here together. I'm sending you lots of love, light and of course magic. <laughs> <laughs>